there, Lori here on Vancouver Island, and today I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing something, I don't know, kind of different, I guess. So, welcome to the channel, and if you're new, thanks so much for popping in, and if you're coming back, I love you! <laughs> I really do. And um, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So let's see what I got going on here in the kitchen today. This is some dehydrated cauliflower. And this is a spice grinder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this cauliflower into flour. I'm going to turn it into cauliflower flour. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to try making something with it. So let's see first how turning it into flour goes. Oh, you might be wondering what this is. I use my grinder for spices too. So uh, to clean your, your grinder out, you can just do some flat, some rice. So this is some, a mixture of, of different kinds of rice, dark and black and red and anyway. So I ground that up first into fine flour. And now I'm gonna grind up this cauliflower and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so look at that powder very cool I'm gonna give it another zap so it made me about a cup of flour I'll have to measure it but so now I want to look for a recipe that calls for two cups of flour because I'll use this just as part of the flour in it and we'll go from there so off I am to look at recipes <laughs> okay, so I've made my cauliflower, my cauliflower flour, and so now I need to make something with it. And I think I'm going to try and make some healthy cookies, because why wouldn't I, right? So to start with, in here I have got an avocado and a couple of bananas. And I'm going to start that mixing up. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's actually been a few days since I made the cauliflower flour, but it's been just sitting here waiting for me to be ready to do something with it. And apparently today is that day. So <laughs> thanks again for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh, so anyway, let's turn this on. I hope that's not too noisy and too annoying. So to this banana and avocado mixture, I am going to add about a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to have to put my, I have this <laughs> for a reason <laughs> because I am messy, messy. So anyway, I'm going to put that in there. And, oops, I'm not going to use as much sugar as, um, I'm not really following the recipe. I'm kind of making it up as I go, but <laughs> I am kind of following um, measurements and stuff from some recipes that I do have and just trying to compensate in different ways. I'm going to throw a little bit of butter in here. I don't know, that's about a tablespoon of butter. Uh, and I'm just adding that for meltability. So I think it'll be fine without it. I'm not gonna put any eggs in these, I don't think. Oh, my oven's ready. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else did I need to add into that? I need to add a little bit of just regular sugar. About a quarter of a cup. And then, for a special treat, I'm going to add some Roger's Golden Syrup. <laughs> a Canadian thing. 
And I guess I should have you, I don't know, you're looking at me instead of seeing what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, Rogers Golden Syrup, which is a product of Canada, and it's really super tasty. And I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. Like maybe about a quarter cup. And that's going to give me about a cup and a half of sugar product. And that should be plenty for what I'm going to add to it. Okay, so let me, uh, let me, I'm going to hype this up for a little bit. And I think that's all my wet ingredients that I want. So I'm going to really crank this up for a minute. So I'll, I'll let you avoid that. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I really did beat that quite well. And then I thought, you know what? Something else I always have, and I'm always wondering about how to use it, is whey. And I have whey because I make our own yogurt. I'm gonna throw about a half a cup of that in there as well. Uh, because how can that be bad for you? <laughs> so now I'm gonna start adding, oh no, wait. I have one more wet ingredient that needs to go in there, and that is peanut butter. What is a peanut butter cookie without adding the peanut butter? That's why it seemed so runny. Because I haven't put the peanut butter in yet. I'm just going to try and grab out a cup. <laughs> and that is about a cup. Um, maybe we'll take just a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, I like lots of peanut butter. <laughs> Let's get that mixed in and then I will start throwing in my dry ingredients. Okay, so that is mixed up nicely and now I'm gonna start adding my dry ingredients. So I have, this is about a cup of my cauliflower flour. This is dehydra the, the dehydrated cauliflower that I was grinding up at the beginning of this video. And I'm gonna pour that whole cup in there. <laughs> and then to that I'm going to add a cup of oats and I'm going to add, oh, I only want about a quarter cup of this ground flax. So this is a half cup so I'll fill it halfway. <laughs> Oh, and look, here's my quarter cup right here, all nice and clean. Oh, well. Uh, what else do I want to put in there? I want to put a little bit of flour in there. Maybe about, I don't know, maybe not quite a half a cup. And I'm just looking down there at the texture of my cookies. Okay, so I'm going to add to this, and I know you don't usually see this in peanut butter cookies, but I'm going to do it anyway just to see how it tastes. I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon in there, and one of the reasons I'm doing that is because I'm going to be adding chocolate as well, because I love chocolate and peanut butter together. So I got my baking soda. I'm going to also add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna let that all mix up and then I'll take a look at it. So, it is definitely not cookie dough yet. <laughs> it's a little bit too moist for cookie dough. So I've added in another half a cup of flour. We're gonna let that mix in. And I think I may add even another cup of flour because it's still pretty moist. <laughs> and I don't want my cookies falling apart. <laughs> you know what I tasted the dough because I didn't put any egg in there it's okay for me to taste it because there's nothing that can harm me in there um, oh maybe that's what it needs is a little bit of salt as well and I think I'm going to put a little bit more of this maple syrup into it it wasn't quite sweet enough for me. There you go, maybe another tablespoon. 
Okay, <laughs> there we have it. There's our dough mix, I think. And it still looks a little bit too moist. Now it's starting to look like cookie dough, so now I'm getting happy. <laughs> Come on, get happy. All right, I'm gonna scrape it up one more time. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's much more like the consistency of uh, a peanut butter cookie. So, like I used to bake when I was a kid. I learned how to bake when I was an, in my early teens, I guess. And my stepmother uh, pretty much told us if we wanted cookies in our lunch or anything like that, we had to bake them ourselves because she had two little kids to take care of and wasn't going to be doing it for us. <laughs> so, we all learned how to bake. Yeah, there you go. That's a that's a good cookie dough. Okay, so now I'm going to throw in one more ingredient. And that's going to be some chocolate chips. And I'm not going to show you because it says mixed nuts from Kirkland's. It's not what it is. Anyway, I'm going to throw in about a cup. And these are milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. So Mima won't freak out and won't, won't eat them. I'm just going to give this a couple of quick turns at a really low speed just to mix those in a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and get these on a plate and get to cooking them. I mean, a cookie pan. You're going to roll these up just like you would peanut butter cookies. You're going to roll them up into a ball. Okay, so here now I have a bowl of sugar and my cookies. And I'm just going to press them flat. And the reason you put the sugar on your fork is because it helps your fork from sticking. So I cooked them for 10 minutes, uh, both batches. So this first batch has been cooling for 10 minutes. It actually made like five dozen cookies. So that was pretty good. But let's go see what Mima thinks. I'm allergic to nuts. There's no nuts. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Since when? I heard about it today on the news. You heard about being allergic to peanut butter? Because it's made out of nuts. Okay. Everybody's allergic now. To nuts. Yeah. So suddenly you are too? If everybody bar. jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? <laughs> Only once. <laughs> Only once. <laughs> Jai Bar Comedy was talking about allergies. Ah, uh, okay. That you have these days. Yeah. And everybody has them. That's good. Is it good? I suppose it's good for me. It's good for me to take cookie. It is. So I can have it for breakfast with coffee. You could. What's in them that makes them good? That makes them good? Good for me. Uh, well, there's no, well, there's only a tablespoon of butter. Um, there's avocado and banana. And there's oats. And there's less sugar. Banana bread. Kind of, yeah. With chocolate chips. And peanut butter. There's peanut butter in there, too. Peanut butter and bananas and chocolate. Like, what? how is that? How could that be bad? We have a win. We have a win. <laughs> now let's see what David says. As you know, he is much harder to please. Notice I haven't tasted him yet, right? <laughs> is that awful? <laughs> what? Here, try. What is it? Cookie. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. It's chocolate chip. It's kind of chewy. <laughs> and it don't. You don't like it? I'm not sure about this. 
<laughs> we'll have another bite. Try it again. <laughs> well, how much arsenic did you do put in? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. It's got a... Banana? Does huh? it taste like banana? I guess. Got some kind of aftertaste. <laughs> you don't like them? Did you cook them long enough? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't follow a recipe. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> I got you all right. Did your mom try it? Mom liked them. Got another one? What, is this dinner? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> So I guess they're probably safe and I guess I can probably eat them. And that I would call a successful experiment, uh, even if it is a little bit unusual. And I maybe could, I've got the last batch in the oven right now and I think I may cook them for an extra minute because, you know, the first batch wasn't quite done. So, and the second batch got cooked a little longer, so we'll cook the third batch a little longer. But yeah, that was... That's pretty good. I might even be able to freeze some of those before they all get eaten and uh, keep them around for a while. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. The cookies were a big hit. And I got six dozen of, or five dozen of them, 60 cookies. Uh, so that ought to be plenty to last for a little while. And thanks for coming and hanging out. I don't actually have a recipe for this because I didn't follow a recipe, but. I did cover everything that I put into it in as I was going, so as long as I got all the footage, everything should be there. I know sometimes I miss some footage or it disappears from the world and I don't know what happens to it. But anyway, hopefully this will all make it. I'm just waiting on that last batch and then I gotta go make dinner. So take good care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye now. Thank you.